안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. 제니입니다. Hello everyone. Welcome to Jenny's Topic Exam. In this time, we're going to solve the problem in Jenny's 7th Topic Exam. This exam is for beginners. First period writing part, number 31 to 46. So, 지금 이 시간에는 27회 한국어 능력 시험 초급 1교시 쓰기 영역에서 31번에서 46번까지의 문제를 풀어보도록 하겠습니다. 네. 알맞은 것을 고르십시오. Please find out the appropriate words for this bracket. This is sample question. 보기 is sample. Okay. Uh, let's read together. 서울에 살아요. 서울에 살아요. 서울 is capital city of Korea, South Korea, for sure. 살아요, 살다. Basic form is 살다. That means live. So, 서울에 살아요. I live in Seoul. 도쿄에 살아요. I live in Tokyo. 뉴욕에 살아요. I live in New York. Okay. So, 서울에 살아요. It's a questioning sentence. So, do you live Seoul? Number one, 네, 서울에 살아요. Yes, I live in Seoul. So that is the right answer. So that is appropriate expression for this blank. And then, 아니요, 서울이에요. No, I'm in Seoul. No, 네, 서울에 없어요. Yes, but I'm not in Seoul now. 아니요, 서울에 있어요. No, I am Seoul. I'm in Seoul. So, number one, 내 서울에 살아요 gonna be the right answer for this question. So, again, 서울에 살아요? 내 서울에 살아요. 31번, number 31. 안경이 멋있어요? 안경 is glasses. 멋있어요? 멋있다 is nice. Or sometimes it can mean handsome. And then, 안경이 멋있어요? Is this glasses nice? Are these glasses nice? 안경이 멋있어요? So, 1번. Number 1. 네, 안경이에요. Yes, this is glasses. 아니요, 멋있어요. No, it's nice. No, it's nice. It's odd. 네, 안경이 아니에요. Yes, it's not glasses. And number four, 아니요, 멋이 없어요. No, it's not nice. So what is appropriate answer for this? Yes, number four is going to be the right answer. So, 안경이 멋있어요? 아니요, 멋이 없어요. It's not nice. So, 멋있어요, 멋이 없어요. These two expressions are Opposite expression. 멋있어요. Opposite expression of 멋있어요 is 멋이 없어요. Okay, again. 안경이 멋있어요? 아니요. 멋이 없어요. Thirty-two. Number thirty-two. 집이 멀어요? 집 is a house. 멀어요 is far from here. So your house is uh, is your house far from here? 집이 멀어요? So number one. 1번. 네, 안 멀어요. Yes, it's not far from here. It's odd. 2번. Number two. 네, 조금 멀어요. Yes, a little bit far from here. So number two is going to be the right answer. And three. 아니요, 집이 멀어요. No, it's far from here. 아니요, 집이 멀어요? 집이 멀어요? 내 네, 집이 멀어요. Gonna be the right answer. However, it says 아니요 집이 멀어요. So it's a strange. So number four, 아니요 아주 멀어요. No, it's a really far from here. So if it's 내, 네, it can be an answer. However, in these two, 아니요, there's 아니요 expression. So these two expressions are strange expression. So number two, only number two gonna be the right answer. So again, 집이 멀어요? 네, 조금 멀어요. Or, 네, 집이 멀어요. Or, 네, 아주 멀어요. 
33번 number 33 어디에서 컴퓨터를 배워요? 컴퓨터 컴퓨터 배워요 learn 어디에서 어디 where right so where do you learn computer so where is a key point here 어디에서 컴퓨터를 배워요 1번 number one 학원에 다녀요 that means I go to the private institute so there are so many private institute in Korea and there are lots of there are various kinds of hagwon, private institute in Korea. And there is computer hagwon. That is computer institute, per, um, private institute. So, hagwon에 다녀요. So, I go to hagwon. That means I learned computer at hagwon. And number two, 이번, 제가 배워요. I learn, I learn computer. And 지난달에 다녔어요. I go there last, last month. So it's a matter of when. 컴퓨터를 배웠어요. I learned computer. So what is appropriate expression for this question? Yes, in the questioning sentence, 어디 is points, key points. So where? 학원에 다녀요. So that means I go to 학원. That means I learned computer at 학원. 1번 gonna be the right answer. Sabon, number 34. Blank. And then, 편지를 보내러 왔어요. That means I came here to send 보내다. To send a letter. So, 1번. What is appropriate um, expression for this blank? 1번. 누가 오셨어요? Who, who did it come? Who did it come? Or who are coming? Who? 누가 is who. And then, 언제 오셨어요? When did you come? 언제 오셨어요? When did you come? And then number three, 어떻게 오셨어요? How do you come here? So is there anything you want to do in this place? 어떻게 오셨어요? Gonna be the right answer. And number four, with whom did you come? With whom did you come? 누구하고 with whom did you come? So he he or she came here to send a letter. So why or how do you come here? Is there anything you want to do in this place? Is 어떻게 오셨어요? So it's a better to memorize to um, uh, memorize this expression. 어떻게 오셨어요? 편지를 보내러 왔어요. Or 어떻게 오셨어요? In the clothes shop, uh, 옷을 사러 왔어요. And then in the bakery, 어떻게 오셨어요? Cake, cake를 birthday cake를 사러 왔어요. So again, 어떻게 오셨어요? 편지를 보내러 왔어요. Okay, number thirty-five, 35번. 이 불고기는 민수 씨가 만들었어요? 네. 불고기 is a kind of food. It's a representative food in Korea. 고기 is meat, seasoning meat. It's really delicious. 불고기, and 민수 씨 만들었어요? Basic form is 만들다. That means, means made, make. So, um, did Minsu Shi make this bulgogi? Did Minsu Shi make this bulgogi? No, and blank. And then again, Hyongi bulgogi de Chaim Andineo. Hyong is male word 
only male, only men can use that word, which means elder brother. So your elder, bro elder brother make bulgogi really well. Your elder brother make bulgogi well. It's a really tasty, it's a really good, it's a really delicious. So, what is appropriate expression for this blank? 이 불고기는 민수 씨가 만들었어요. Did Minsu she make this bulgogi? No, and blank. I think my elder brother made it. So you have to find out for that expression. Number one, 1번, 어제 만들었어요. I made it yesterday. No. 형이 만들었어요. Yes. My elder brother made it. 형 is elder brother. 만들었어요 is make. So made it. My elder brother made 불고기. And then I made 불고기 and I made it with my mom. So the answer is that 형이 불고기를 잘 만드네요. So your elder brother made the bulgogi really well. 정말 맛있어요. So number two gonna be the right answer. So again, 일부 불고기는 민수 씨가 만들었어요. 아니요, 형이 만들었어요. So 형이 불고기를 잘 만드네요. 정말 맛있어요. And then 보기와 같이 두 문장을 바르게. 연결한 것을 고르십시오. Two 문장 is two sentences and connect correctly. So please find out the found out the expression. Then the two two sentences are connected correctly. Okay, okay. This is simple sentence. There are two sentences. Now let's read together. 인사를 했습니다. 인사를 하다 is like this. 안녕하세요. Like say hello to somebody. 모자를 벗었습니다. 모자 is hat. Hat, cap or hat. And 벗다 is take off. Take off the 모자, hat, or take off your clothes. So 인사를 했습니다. 모자를 벗었습니다. So it's a kind of polite manner if you say hello to the somebody who are uh, higher than you, who are older, older than you, then you have to take off your hat. Take off your hat when you say hello to the somebody who are older than you or higher position than you. So 1번. 인사를 해서 because I say hello to somebody, 모자를 벗어, 벗었습니다. No, 인사를 하러 모자를 벗었습니다. Uh, please remember it. If you used 하러, blah blah ro expression, 가다, 오다 a verb is natural. 가다, 오다 a verb is natural. For example, 밥을 먹으러 식당에 갔습니다. Or, 어, 편지를 보내러 우체국에 왔습니다. So, if you use a raw expression, blah blah, a raw expression, verb 가다 and 오다 is uh, always attached most of the time. Okay. 3번. 인사를 하지만, 하지만 is however. I say hello to somebody, however. 모자를 썼습니다. I take off the 모자. No. Number four. 인사를 하려고, to say hello to somebody. 인사를 하려고 모자를 벗었습니다. I take off my hat. So number four gonna be the right answer. 36번, number 36. Yes, let's read together. 춤을 춥니다. 기분이 좋습니다. Can you remember 기분이 좋습니다 expression? I feel good or I'm happy, I'm excited. So 춤을 춥니다. 기분이 좋습니다. How can we connect these two sentences? Number one, 
춤을 추면 If I dance, if you dance 기분이 좋습니다 I feel good, I'm happy, I'm excited Yes, 1번 gonna be the right answer, right? And then 2번 춤을 추러 기분이 좋습니다 Can you remember the expression? Blah blah 으로 expression is most of time with 으로 가다 오다 So 춤을 추러 클럽에 갑니다 Or 편지를 보내라 우체국에 옵니다 Like this Number 3 3번 춤을 추거나 기분이 좋습니다 거나 is or So I dance Or I feel good No 춤을 추려고 To dance 기분이 좋습니다 I feel good No So number 1 is the right expression 춤을 추면 기분이 좋습니다 Number 37, 37번 요리를 합니다 맛있게 먹었습니다 요리를 합니다 I cook, I cook and I ate it I had it really well It was very delicious It includes a meaning of delicious That food is really tasty So I really want to eat that food food and then I ate it. I feel so good. In that case that you can say 맛있게 먹었습니다. I really like a pizza. It, it smells good. And and I had I had a pizza and I can say 피자를 맛있게 먹었습니다. Okay. So number one, 1번 요리를 해서 맛있게 먹었습니다. 요리를 해서 that is 요리를 해서 요리를 하다 and then 그래서 맛있게 먹었습니다. Yes, it's gonna be the right answer. Blah blah. 아, 어, 여, 서 expression. 서 expression. Sometimes it means um, you, if you want to say the reason, if you want to say the because blah blah blah. You can use that word, but in that case, it's 그래서 So, or and then 요리를 했, 했습니다. 그래서 맛있게 먹었습니다. Number two 요리를 해도 맛있게 먹었습니다. Even though, even though 해도 is even though, even though I cook, no. 요리를 하려면, if I want to cook, if I uh, plan to cook, no. 요리를 하지만, I cook, however, no, it's an odd expression. These are odd expression. So number one gonna be the right answer. 요리를 해서, and then, 맛있게 먹었습니다. I cook and I had it. Okay. And then, please answer this question. 답하십시오 is please answer. 물음 is question. 38번, number 38. 알맞은 것을 고십시오. Please select the appropriate answer for this bracket. Okay, let's read together. 저는 내년에 외국으로 유학을 갑니다. 외국에 가는 것이 처음입니다. 지금까지 모르는 것이 많습니다. 같이 유학 갈 친구와 천천히 준비를 할 겁니다. 저는 I next year 외국으로 유학을 갑니다. That means go abroad to study. 외국 is to the foreign country. So that means I go abroad to study next year. 외국에 가는 것이 처음입니다. It's a first time to go to the foreign country. 외국 is foreign country. 지금까지, until now, until now, that means so far, and blank, 모르는 것이 많습니다. There are a lot of things that I don't know. There are a lot of things that I don't know. 
So, 같이 유학 갈 친구와 천천히 준비를 할 겁니다. 할 겁니다 is future tense. So, I will prepare with my friends who go abroad with me, who will go abroad, who will go abroad with me. 천천히, slowly or step by step. So, I will prepare the things, a lot of things for you, ha. Huh? With my friends, who will go with me, step by step. So, what is appropriate expression for this blank? 지금까지 so far, blank, 모르는 것이 많습니다. There are a lot of things that I don't know about you, ha. So, number one, 유학을 가기 때문에 Because I go abroad, there are a lot of things that I don't know. No. 유학을 갈수 없거나 유학을 갈수 없거나 is or. No. 외국에 가는 것으로 지금까지 외국에 가는 것으로 외국에 가는 것 is, uh, is to go abroad. To go abroad. Buy to go abroad? No. 외국에 간 적이 없어서. Blah blah. 은 적이 없어서. It's a kind of expression for past experience. So, so far, I never go to abroad. I never go to foreign countries. So, 지금까지, so far, until now, I never visited foreign countries. So there are lots of things that I don't know. Okay, so number four is going to be the right answer. Okay. 39번 알맞지 않은 것을 고르십시오. Please find out the incorrect expression. Okay. Uh, not pro in, uh, not appropriate. Okay. 일번 지난주 일요일에 가족과 등산을 했습니다. 이번 산에서 운동을 한 후에 이야기도 많이 했습니다. 삼번 가족들과 바다 여행을 해서 즐거웠습니다. 사번 이번 주에도 가족하고 좋은 시간을 보내려고 합니다. Number one, 지난주 일요일에 Last weekend, last Sunday 지난주 일요일에 last Sunday 가족과 등산을 했습니다. I climb a mountain with my family. So, next no, no. Last week, last, set, uh, last Sunday, I go climbing with my family. Number two, 산에서 at the mountain, 운동을 한 후에, we um, exercise a lot, we exercised, and we talked a lot. So in the mountain, at the top of the mountain, we exercise, we did an exercise, and we talked a lot. Number three, 가족들과 with my family member, 바다 여행을 해서 즐거웠습니다. I was 즐거웠습니다 is happy, right? 즐거웠습니다. I was happy because we trip to the sea with my um, with my families. 바다 여행 is sea. 바다 is ocean or sea. 여행 is trip or traveling. No, it's odd. So, 3번 가나 비로 라인 안쏘. Incorrect expression because uh, their family went to the mountain instead of the sea or beach or ocean. So, it's not the incor incorrect uh, it's not the correct expression. Number four, 이번 주에도 uh, this week 가족하고 좋은 시간을 보내려고 합니다. So I plan to spend a good time with my family this, in this 
weekend in this week okay so number number three 바다 여행 that is not the appropriate expression so number three 3번 gonna be the answer Forty one. 밑줄 친 부분을 잘못 바꾸어 쓴 것을 고르십시오. Okay. Here. This is a kind of the um, when you see the paper from the mart, it says there are a period of discount and there are products you can get a discount. This is a paper from the mart. So it says. 서울 마트 할인 행사. 행사 is event. So 서울 마트, 서울 마트, discount event. So 1번, number 1. 할인 기간, 기간 is period of discount from 8월 1일에서 8월 3일. 할인 상품, 상품 is product. Product, you can get a discount. Quail is a fruit. Fruit you can get a discount at 8월 1일. 채소. 채소 is a veg vegetable. You can get a discount 8월 2일. It's a date, you know. And 고기 is meat. 8월 3일. So, the time. Time. 오전 9시에서 오후 10시. 오전 is a.m. So 9 o'clock a.m. and 10 o'clock p.m. So running time is from 9 o'clock a.m. to um, 10 o'clock p.m. And then 라면 다섯 개를 드립니다. We will give the five 라면. Only. 단 is only. 10만 원 이상 구입 시. When you. She is when you. Kuip is, is purchase or buy. When you purchase more than 10만 원. So if you send the money in this whole mart more than 10만 원, you can get five ramen for free. Okay. 1번. 8월 3일까지 할인 행사를 합니다. Here. 8월 3일까지 할인 행사를 합니다. So period of discount 8월 1일부터 8월 3일. August 1st to August 3rd. Yes, it's right. 1번. 맞아요. 매일 고기를 싸게 팝니다. 싸게 is in cheap price. Cheaply. 팝니다 is sell. So every day the Seoul Mart sell the meats in cheap price. But there are exact date for um, the each product, each kinds of product. In case of fruits, you can get a discount at uh, 8월 1일. And then gogi, in case of gogi, you can get a discount in 8월 3일. So, 매일 고기를 싸게 팝니다. Every day, you can get a discount when you um, buy a meat. It's it's odd. No. It's a false, right? And then, 아침 9시부터 문을 엽니다. 문을 열다 is open. So, 아침, morning, morning time, 9 o'clock, they open the door. Right, okay. 오전 9시부터 오후 10시까지. It's a period of time. It's a running time. And then, uh, 10만 원 이상 사는 손님에게 라면을 줍니다. Yes, customer who buy, who purchase more than 10만 원, they give 라면. Yes, it's right. Okay, so 2번 gonna be the right answer. So it's not, it's not the, it's a false information. Okay. 41번, 그림을 보고 빈칸에 알맞은 말을 쓰십시오. Please find out the appropriate expression for this bracket. Here, 남자는 자전거를 
잘 blank. Here, 남자, male, men. Female is 여자. But the, in the sentence, 남자 is subject. So you have to focus on the 남자 in this picture. So 남자 is riding a bicycle now. And then the girl, female, um, is helping him to ride a bike. But he is not good at riding a bike, right? He is not good at riding a bicycle. So, 남자는 자전거를 잘 yes, 못 잘못 합니다. That means if you say 남자는 자전거를 잘 탑니다. That means uh, 남자, a man, is good at riding a bicycle. But 잘 못합니다. That means 남자, a man, is not good at riding a bicycle. So that is negative component. What is negative component? To make it a matter of the ability. Yes. Okay, so 남자는 자전거를 잘 못합니다. It's right answer. And then, uh, please find out the appropriate expression uh, after, after reading this dialogue. 42번 어제 뭘 샀어요? What did you buy? What did you buy yesterday? Myeongdong, it's a downtown in Seoul. Myeongdong is a Myeongdong blank. And then, 어떤 시계예요? So, what kind of what kind of watch did you buy? What kind of clock did you buy? So, what did you buy? What did you buy? So, you have to say, I bought something at Myeongdong. So at Myeongdong, Myeongdong is a shigeru and bought. Sasayo. Myeongdong is a shigeru sasayo. So I bought watch at Myeongdong. So what kind of what kind of shige, watch or clock did you buy? Okay, so shige de sasayo. Gonna be the uh, appropriate expression for this bracket. Okay. Saship Samban. Number 43. Lisa Sonseng Nim. Kamgi e kolyosayo. Doctor. The so honorific expression of doctor is 의사 선생님. It's not the teacher, it's a doctor. 의사 is doctor. So doctor, 감기에 걸렸어요. 감기에 걸리다, catch a cold. So I caught a cold. 감기에 걸렸어요. 그래요? Really? Blank. 아니요. 목은 괜찮은데, 목 is throat. 목은 괜찮은데, 머리가 아파요. 목, throat is okay. 괜찮은데 is okay. 머리 is head. I have a headache. My head is sick now. My head, some, it's a literal uh, translation, is my head is sick now. So what is appropriate expression th for this bracket? Doctor, I caught a cold. So doctor say, oh really? Blank? No. 목은 괜찮은데. So he said, prob probably the doctor said, 목이 아파요? 목이 아파요? That means, does your throat hurt? Right? So, 의사 선생님, 
감기 걸렸어요. 그래요? 목이 아파요? 목이 아파요? 아니요. 목은 괜찮은데 머리가 아파요. Then, 다음 글을 읽고, after reading this text, and just write the right expression. Let's read together. 요즘 매일 학교에 가는 버스에서 한 여학생을 만납니다. 그 여학생은 머리가 길고 눈이 크고 예쁩니다. 아침마다 그 여학생을 만날 생각에 행복합니다. 오늘도 그 여학생을 또 blank 같아서 기분이 좋습니다. 요즘 these day, every day, these day, every day, 학교에 가는 버스에서 the bus uh, which goes to the 학교, the school, I meet the one girl student. So every day when I take a bus, I see a girl. I see a girl. I meet the girl. 그 여학생은 that girl, girl students, is 머리가 길고, have a long hair, and 눈이 크고, have a big eye, and she's so pretty. So 그 여학생은, 그 여학생은 머리가 길다, is a long hair, have a long hair. 눈이 크고, have a big eye, the eyes are big, and Pretty. So, 아침마다 every morning, 그 여학생을 만날 생각에 행복, 행복합니다. So, I'm happy every morning when I think of meeting that girl student. Okay, 행복합니다. It's happy. And then, 오늘도, also today, 그 여학생을 또 blank 같아서 기분이 좋습니다. 기분이 좋습니다. 행복합니다. Synonym. 행복합니다. I'm happy because I think I will meet I will meet that girl student, that girl today. So in that case you can say 여학생을 또 만날 것 같아서 기분이 좋습니다. Just, you are not sure, but you think, you guess, you can meet that girl. In this case, you can say, 만날 것 같아요. Or, um, it's not rainy, it's not rainy outside, but it's a cloudy, so it's about to rain. In that, in that case, you can say, 비가 올것 같아요. It's not sure now, but you guess something. Okay. 그 여학생을 또 만날 것, blah blah 것 같아서 기분이 좋습니다. Number 45, 45번. Let's read together. 여러분은 거울에 거울이 깨끗하지 않을 때 어떻게 하십니까? 보통 수건으로 거울을 닦습니다. 그렇지만 쉽게 깨끗해지지 않지요? 거울을 신문을 이용하면 좋습니다. 신문을 공처럼 만든 후에 그것으로 닦으십시오. 거울이 깨끗해질 겁니다. 오케이. 여러분은 거울이 깨끗하지 않을 때 어떻게 하십니까? So how do you do or what do you do when the cold is mirror, mirror is not clean? So what do you do? What, what should we do um, if the mirror is dirty, mirror is not clean? 보통 is in general, usually, 수건으로 거울을 닦습니다. 닦다 is to wipe, wipe. In general, we wipe it, uh, we wipe mirror with 수건 is towel, towel, towel. So in general, we wipe the mirror with towel. 
그렇지만 however 쉽게 깨끗해지지 않지요. however isn't it um, isn't it be cleaned well easily? 쉽게 is easily. isn't it be cleaned easily? so it is difficult to clean. Uh, it's it's difficult to clean the mirror with the um, towel. Okay, by wiping. So, 거울을 blank, 신문을 이용하면 좋습니다. So, it's, it's good to use a newspaper blank meter. Then, 신문을 공처럼 만든 후, 공 is bowl. So, um, after, after, and then, who is after, okay? 신문을 공처럼 만든 후 um, just the 신문 신문 is newspaper to make 신문 like a bowl to make 신문 like a bowl and then wipe the meter with it uh, with a 신문 and like this to make a bowl to make a newspaper bowl and then to wipe the meter with it 거울이 깨끗해질 겁니다 the meter will be cleaned. So, what is appropriate expression for this blank? 거울을 blank is a good to use on newspaper. So, when you when you wiped when you clean the mirror, when you wipe the mirror, it's a good to use a newspaper. So, 거울을 So, when you wipe, wipe the meter, meter, it's a good to use a newspaper. So, please make the bowl with a, with a newspaper and then wipe, wipe the meter with it. So, 닦을 때 gonna be the right answer. Then, the last question. And just read the text and then please write a essay. The letter is from uh, 150에서 304. So 150 50 to 300 letters is enough. Okay. So let's read the question together. 여러분은 무엇을 잘합니까? 잘하려고 어떻게 했습니까? 그것을 잘해서 무엇이 좋습니까? 여러분이 잘하는 것에 대해서 쓰십시오. So, the key, key sentence is last sentence. La, uh, please write, write the things that you can do well, you are good at. Please write, please write the certain things that you are good at, you can do well. So, um, uh, what are you good at? And then, to be good at something, what did you do? And then, what is good thing? What is good thing that you are good at something? Okay, and then, please write the things that you can do well. So it can be the uh, playing a piano, it can be uh, playing a soccer, it can be uh, uh, making some certain kinds of cook, certain kinds of food. So you can, you can write an essay. Okay. okay. This is today's homework. And let's try to write an essay. Okay. That was 27th Topic Exam Beginners course, first period writing part. So far, so good. And practice a lot. 네, 수고하셨습니다. 다음 시간에 또 뵙겠습니다.